Um, you ready to move on to our next next team? Yeah, this is going to be my major disappointment of this season. This the Houston Cougars. Really? Um, don't think they're going to be the worst team. Obviously, um, I said East Carolina, South Florida. Those are probably the two worst. But I am not excited about Dana Holgerson and and this Houston team right now. Um, okay. They're the 83rd class. They're the 83rd ranked class nationally for 2021. Um, past couple of years, it's down. They were 72nd, 73rd, 73rd, 69th, 36th in 2016. They had the 36th ranked class. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> their record has gone down every year since Dana Holgerson has arrived. And I'm starting to think if you think about Dana, Hol- Dana Holgerson, What's like the one of the first things that comes to your just about him? Like if you look at him, it's like, oh, that's a crazy person. <laughs> and I'm not sure if him and his style and his personality works with recruits nowadays. Like I just don't, I don't, I don't envision that. I, I think this trend of downward um, trajectory on their recruiting classes, I think it's going to continue. Maybe the records kind of flattens out because they still got talent. They're still going to be. Um, one of the better talent wise teams in the, in the conference, but I don't know. What are your thoughts on Houston? So here's my thoughts on Houston. Um, I, I, I feel some type of way. Um, okay. They, so they have everything that they need to win on, on a consistent basis and challenge for AAC championships. I think they should be one of the best teams in the American and should be competing every single year. Yes. By far, they have the most money of any team in the conference. Um, they've got the oil money down there. Mm-hmm. You know, former, former, uh, what Southern Conference or Southwestern Conference, with all those oil schools. Oh, yeah. Um, and and so, I and I even think like there's potential with with the infrastructure laid at at uh, Houston that. If the team was halfway decent, if a power five conference decided that they wanted to expand, Houston should be at the top of your list. Like Big uh, 12, if they ever want to get back to 12 teams, I think yes, Houston should, should be the first one. Houston would be my first team for the Big 12. Um, but And Dana, Dana Holgerson, in my opinion, is a good coach. Um, and they have the money to hold on to him. But I think he needs to start winning. Um, so his first season, we knew they were going to be bad, and he planned them to be bad. He he sat players. Uh, he, he sat uh, like eight of his thirteen seniors uh, intentionally. He redshirted them so that they would be better the next year when he had recruits that he wanted. And then his second season was twenty twenty, and it was you know even worse than the first season. Even worse. I also think that that Houston went. They played like their. They, they were supposed to start their season and then they ended up not playing till like 75 days later um, because of COVID. So I think this, this was a team that got, was really affected by COVID. So I'm kind of right now for me, I'm taking uh, 2020 with a grain of salt. So his first two years for me are kind of a wash. Um, I don't know if what this, what this team is going to look like. Um the president of the university par- prior to hiring uh, Dana Holgerson did say that Houston is a football school and they will be, and I quote, they will fire coaches over eight and four seasons because eight and four seasons are not good enough. You see the record the last two years? Yeah. Four, four and eight, three and five. <laughs> yeah. So, um, they're a basketball school. They just made the final four. So I I think that there is a good chance that they're better this year. I don't think that they will be eight and four, though. Um, so I see them. I, I, I have them pegged at six and six, seven and five, something like that. Yeah, let, let me let me take a look at their schedule. Let's see how many how many games I think are winnable. Well, they should start 4-0. They should start 4-0. Uh, should start, yeah, should start 4-0. They play, they have, they, have a, they have a neutral site game against Texas Tech to open the season. Then they yep. play at Rice. And then they have Grambling. 
Grambling State, and then they play at UConn, which if yep. anybody loses to UConn this year, oh, well, that's uh, later the, in the season. The, the game is – UConn the, game is later in their season. Yeah, it's actually November 27th. That's their final regular season. Yeah. I forgot. I just um, haven't so listed out. Non-conference, they should win for all four games. They should yes. win all four of those games. Um, I think that they have a chance to beat Navy. Um, so we'll put that at like five. I think they have a chance to beat Tulsa. So there's your six. I don't think they're going to beat Tulane. I think Tulane's better than them. Potentially could beat Eastern Carolina. That's where I get seven. I don't think they're going to get SMU. Maybe USF. It's at USF, and I think USF gets better as the season goes on. Um, so maybe that's that's eight. Um, maybe they could beat Temple and be nine. I see the three. I the, I see them winning three games as I'm looking at the schedule right now. I see East Carolina, South Florida, and Temple. I don't think they beat Tulsa. I don't think they beat Navy. Um, so I, I think they will win those three games almost for sure. Um, but I yes. think that I think that Navy or Tulsa, they will take one of those games. So that puts them at eight. It saying that they win all their non-conference games. Um, they should. Uh, I, Texas I Tech is the only that, question mark. That Houston is a better team than most of the teams in the American. I just don't know how I feel about them because of I how I just weird. don't like Dana Holgerson. Fair enough.